There's a few things that are guaranteed in this world. Death, taxes, and that pretty much everyone hates Skylar White. But I'm here to tell you a different story. I'm here to tell you why Skylar White wasn't really that bad? Yes, that's right. In this video, I'm going to be defending Skylar White. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hear me out. There are a couple non-negotiables that I can't defend at all. Number one being that Vince Gilligan and the writing team clearly wrote Skylar White to be an antagonist to Walter White. And in that, you know, she she is a caring character. She's a morally sound character in the beginning of the story. So she is naturally going to look worse in the eyes of us who are supporting Walter White. Number two, the happy birthday song. I don't even think that needs much of an explanation. And number three, she fucks Ted. In this video, I want to focus on everything else, but let's quickly talk about these just so we could get them out of the way. Vince Gilligan and the writing team, as I already mentioned, have pretty much clearly positioned Skylar to oppose Walt and to be a genuine but naggy source of reason. You know what I mean? That doesn't make her a horrible character. As a matter of fact, that arguably makes her one of the more morally sound characters in the show. Like, you could tell she she truly cares about Walt and her family. You could see that she really is family oriented and is a loving individual. That's actually a commendable thing, but automatically it means we are going to hate her in the eyes of Walt being our protagonist, which isn't really a great protagonist to have in general. However, what is not commendable at all is the birthday song. I honestly think that playing this song on repeat would be a justifiable criminal punishment in our legal system. It quite literally makes me want to die inside and i'm not kidding and oh she fucked ted that just goes without saying but anyway since these are non-negotiables let's look at everything else because if her biggest flaws are singing the happy birthday song and cheating on her husband who is a mass criminal that honestly does not sound too bad in comparison does it well either way we're going to explore this and more in this video so if you like the sound of that make sure you hit the like button on it and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all things tv show film reactions character analyses like this one and anything else but anyway throughout the start of the series we see Skylar White go from just a nag to Walter, even going to the extent of having an issue with him smoking marijuana. Do not sell marijuana to my husband. Okay. To her gradually hating him more and more and more because of the actions he does. None of that sounds wrong at all. I mean, if you think about it, realistically, Skylar White was put in a position where her husband was diagnosed with cancer. Her job became to be the caretaker. Let's take care of, of Walt, who is potentially dying of lung cancer. I need to shift my attention to this. I mean, wouldn't you? If, if you knew someone in your life, your whole thought path would be, let's make sure they are as safe as they could be. Let's make sure they're making like really smart, sound, safe decisions. That's what Skylar White was trying to do since the beginning. And yeah, she got on him, like I said, about marijuana. She got on him about other stuff. Pretty, pretty too tough to where it's like, you need to calm down a little bit. But those are all caring traits that are, are, are good qualities in people. These are non-negotiable good qualities. You know, if, if someone was taking care of me, I'd want them to be that way. Even if I got a little annoyed here and there, I'd want to at least know that there is someone on my side rooting for me through thick and thin. And that's exactly what Skylar White was in the beginning of the show. And then over time, when Walter White started disappearing more and more, obviously Skylar White was getting more and more upset completely justifiably. There's no reason in the world she wouldn't be if my girlfriend or if anyone else that I knew stopped telling me what they were doing, started showing up at random times of the night, or started getting caught in these weird lies. I would be pissed. I'd be questioning everything, and I would have a right to be. There would be clearly something up. That's exactly what Skylar White was doing, and there's no problem to that. But again, the biggest reason that we do have a problem with that as viewers of the show is because we just by default view her as the antagonist. Because technically in the writer's room, she she was in the beginning of the story. There's villains as the story goes on and on. Just kind of like how in Better Call Saul, there's a lawyer storyline and there's a cartel storyline. Both have their villains or antagonists. Well, Skylar White was the antagonist slash kind of villain, but not really a villain at all. But kind of the villain to Walt because she was constantly opposing him. But everything she was opposing 
totally justifiable. At least as far as this goes, there's nothing wrong so far with what she's done. Nothing at all. She's just being a caring individual for her husband, which sounds totally fine. Like, although I don't make blue pop rocks with mind altering capabilities, nor do I know anyone that does, I can at least recognize that if it turns out I was dating someone or just friends with someone who cooked that stuff, I'd divorce them too or leave them as friends entirely. I don't want to be associated with that in any point in my life. And if I was, I would hate them. I, I just would. I'm not a fan of that lifestyle to each their own. That's not who I would want to be in my life at all. I wouldn't want to be associated with it. I'd have a problem with it. And if out of nowhere, the individual that I've known for my whole life as being a very morally sound, kind, and gentle human turned into that? Goodbye. See ya. There is no room for redemption for you. I would hate your guts too. That's why Skylar White had every right on planet Earth to hand over those divorce papers to Walt after years at this point, pretty much, of speculation, or what felt like years of speculation. Maybe it was only a year. I don't know. But after even a year of speculation as to what he was doing, why he wasn't answering, why his phone was always dead, why he was just acting bizarre and lying constantly. Yeah. I would come to the conclusion, too, inevitably, that he was a drug dealer, and yeah, she thought it was marijuana, which to her was the devil's lettuce, but overall, she realized, hey, she was right. She served those divorce, divorce papers to him when she had no shadow of a doubt that that's what he was doing, and guess what? She was right about it, and then from there on, it was a big manipulation game from Walter to Skylar in order for her to stay in that relationship. She felt trapped. She felt abused verbally, and she felt, you know, just scared overall. She didn't know what to do. She was worried about being a single mother and all of that stuff. And look, I'm not in the mind of this individual, but you could see it clear as day that she was manipulated into this position, and that is a really sucky position to be in. And yes, there's people that say, well, you could do whatever you want in life. Like, you don't have to be. You have free will, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, you do. But sometimes circumstances really Really take the best of you. And that's exactly what happened here. And yes, when she got further manipulated in, she started doing morally questionable things too. But that's because she was trapped in by Walter White and she didn't know what to do. I wouldn't know what to do either if I was in that predicament. Even though I say right now I would leave them as soon as possible, that is what Skylar White did. But just over time, that inevitably turned out not to work because she came running back. That is a fault on her part, technically, yes. But those, those situations, are just complicated, especially when you consider the person that it's happening to family, even though you're not, you know, biologically related. When you spend so much time with a certain person, they become part of you and you don't want to leave them no matter what. And I can understand that. I could totally understand that. That does not necessarily make Anna, or I should say, Skylar White a bad person at all. And you know, while I am thinking about it, there is so much hate out there for Anna Gunn, which is so undeserving. Anna Gunn was one of the best actresses of our time. She brought Skylar White to screen perfectly, like perfectly. And that wasn't because she played it bad. She played it so unbelievably well. That takes a lot to do. That is not an easy thing at all all to do and she just absolutely nailed it so all of this misdirected hate on Anna Gunn is really unfortunate it's made her pretty much totally step away from anything Better Call Saul Breaking Bad related because she had a very negative experience the fans hated her like hated and it goes beyond just normal hate people were sending her death threats like who does that it's a character in a show, and at that, it's a great, great character in a show. If you've seen my tier list ranking Better Call Saul, or Better Call Saul Breaking Bad, El Camino characters, you'll know that Skylar White is in my S tier. Say what you want, but she is a great character because you're following a really complex story of a trapped person, and again, I can't really go out and defend any of the, the, any of the things she did, such as defend I fuck Ted. at all at all at all but to be fair like if that's the worst like I said in the beginning if that's the worst compared to your husband who is a big drug kingpin that's like nothing <laughs> that really is nothing and yes she helped him launder her money but like I said she was trapped and all of those things totally understandable from a perspective that someone is in like that so yeah 
I just wanted to come on here really quickly and make a video in defense of Skylar because she gets a lot of hate. And yes, I understand some of it is deserved because on screen, she really does suck to watch. Like, she's not necessarily a fun character to watch, but you could at least recognize that her story makes sense. Her story is a good story, and it is a sympathetic story. These are all realistic things that would happen in the real world. That doesn't at all mean that Skylar White is a bad person. That doesn't at all mean that Skylar White is annoying or bad for, you know, being morally grounded. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. Yes, she nagged a lot. And yes, she was viewed as the antagonist to Walt. So I get those reasons for people not liking her. But to the point that I see online, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, if you liked this, make sure you let me know in the comments. Leave a like on this video if you liked it, liked it, whatever. Anyway. But I want to start a healthy conversation. I know this is a very divisive one, so let's please try to remain as healthy as we physically can down there. And with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching this video. And until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.